Hello, I'm Melanie Stambaugh, and I'm proud to serve as your state representative for the 25th District. As the 2016 session is rapidly approaching, I want to share with you some of the work I've been doing during this interim. The legislative interim is an opportunity for legislators to return to their districts, to work on policy for the upcoming session, and to learn, tour, and discuss concerns and opportunities with the people of their district. I have had a busy, yet enjoyable interim, meeting with people in my district office downtown Puyallup, meeting for coffee, and doing tours across our district. I have been visiting our schools, touring local businesses, and since the funding was secured for the completion of State Route 167, I've been working on the next transportation improvements that our district and Puget Sound area need. I've been touring our community, looking at local natural resources, options for completing the connections of the Foothills Trail, and discussing improvements for the Puyallup Hatchery that I sponsored in last session's capital budget. Recently, the state Supreme Court issued two impactful rulings, one on McCleary and the second on charter schools. First, McCleary. This past session, the state made a record investment in K-12 education. However, the state Supreme Court has ruled that we have still not met our McCleary obligations. A McCleary work group comprised of members of both the House and the Senate have been meeting with the governor this interim. There are several options moving forward local levy reform, increased revenue, or cuts to state spending. I believe it is important that we move out of the planning phase into implementing a solution that is best for our students. Second, the Supreme Court ruled that the funding of charter schools is unconstitutional. As you probably remember, Initiative 1240 was approved by the voters in 2012, creating a charter school system in Washington State. We became the 42nd state to allow charter schools. There are 1,200 students enrolled in charter schools across our state. I've had the opportunity to visit several of these schools in the Puget Sound area, and it has been eye-opening to see these schools in action and talk to the students and parents, hearing that students who formerly struggled in our traditional education system were now excelling in charter schools. Ensuring flexibility and that our charter schools can keep their classrooms open is a top priority for this upcoming session. In the higher education arena, I have visited multiple college campuses across our state, private colleges, community technical, regional, and research universities, talking with student leadership, faculty members, and administrators. One thing I continually hear is thank you from students and parents for our historic tuition reductions that were passed by the legislature last session. Additionally, I've been involved in the Campus Sexual Violence Task Force, which was created by the legislature last session. The task force is looking at best practices for prevention, response, and recovery for sexual violence victims on our college campuses. In the early fall, I had the opportunity to join legislators from both the House and the Senate on an energy delegation to Denmark, where we learned about energy, environment, and transportation policy and procedures that could benefit Washington State. I was inspired by Denmark's community-based energy options and have been engaged in discussions about higher education degrees that are essential for the future of our energy sector. I want to thank the local businesses who invited me to visit their offices, their plants, and operations, and shared with me the challenges of alignment in our state agencies, and for sharing one repeated concern, that our education system is not equipping our students with the necessary skills to meet workforce needs. Further changes are needed in our K-12 and higher education systems to better align student instruction with job-ready skills. In these final weeks before the 2016 session begins, please feel free to give me a call, send me an email, or set up a time to meet to discuss any issues, challenges, or opportunities that are important to you. It's an honor to serve you in the State House of Representatives.